My name is Roberta Voulon. I'm a new iOS developer. I've been learning how to code. I have a degree in translation, actually, which I got in the Netherlands, which is where I'm from. I finished that in 98. I got an internship to work as a localization engineer. Eventually, I got to properly learn how to code and started doing projects for people as a freelancer. At the same time, I'm a co-founder of a skills incubator for people who are learning to code and want to become developers professionally. There are not that many typical days, but there are some things that keep coming back. Usually in the morning I work on projects, which could be a coding project that I'm working on, or preparing a workshop, or preparing a talk, or preparing an event that's happening, or a, a new learning session that we're starting. The reality of working in tech and also just being a developer is that you work with a lot of different people. Even if you are doing a project on your own, you should always have somebody to review your code or do some pair programming with. And then you have the open source movement, which is a lot of sharing of skills and how to do something. And so it's a very, very open community. We're at a co-working space right now. This is where we're hosted and that's where we have our events. The greatest part about working in a co-working space is that people that you normally meet like once or twice a year at events are now suddenly your colleagues. You see each other almost every day, you can have a coffee with them. So there's a lot of serendipity going. In the afternoon, twice a week, we have uh, our coffee and code sessions. And usually people work on whatever they're working on, like it could be web development, could be mobile development. Uh, whatever interests people have. And so people have all sorts of backgrounds. I have a mission, and the mission is to fill the skills gap in tech by closing the diversity gap. The thing is, people say, oh, I can't find any women in tech, and it's not true. It just depends on where you're looking. And if you notice that you're not represented, try to find a group where you feel they're comfortable with. So there are different things that you have to do throughout the day and I think the most difficult is where you say, okay, right now, this is what I have to do. And sometimes it's really just putting a timer and like, okay, for the next 30 minutes, this is going to be what I'm working on. It's more like focus management rather than time management. What I love about my work is, you know, you're coming up with an idea and that idea can just stay an idea or it become reality. And I think that's very, very, very cool because you're building something that's gonna happen in the real world. If you're interested in becoming a developer but you don't have a computer science degree, there's really nothing stopping you from doing that. Just start following a tutorial or uh, some course online and focus on an actual project that you're building. When you're learning how to code, basically the first thing you have to do is become comfortable with a constant state of discomfort because things keep growing, things keep changing. This feeling of like, I don't know how to do this, keeps coming back. And it's probably going to get better as you go, but it's a feeling that you're going to have for the rest of your career if you're going to stick with development. Whenever you're stuck, and you don't know how to continue, this is the point where you are actually learning and you're making a breakthrough. When I look for a mentor, it's not necessarily about, hey, this is my situation, what do you think? And getting advice. I love to ask people about their experience, like, how did you make this work? How did this work in your situation? And then you can evaluate that for your situation. You can make up your own mind and get different people's experience and learn from them. Tech is like very, very close to my heart and I feel like I'm a part of that. I have an influence on what's happening in, in the tech world in Montreal and that's a new feeling.